Hello and welcome to Game of Thrones with me Balfellian. So this is the Telltale Games uh, Game of Thrones adventure game um, that was released just before Christmas last year. So episode one of this game is now out. There's going to be six episodes in total that are going to come out over the next few months. It'll probably finish off probably about the time that the, uh, the TV show finishes its fifth season. So we're talking about sort of June-ish, I imagine it'll finish. Um, so we've got episode 1 to play through today, so we're going to get started. Once it's just checked for the uh, DLC and stuff. So this is going to be a blind let's play series. I haven't played any of this before. Uh, knowing Game of Thrones in general and the Telltale games as well, there's probably going to be a lot of death in this. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if half the family that we're going to be playing as die before the end of season 1. But uh, you can see these... See, the various characters we're going to be playing across the season uh, on the screen here. It's House Forrester, who are Bannermen to House Stark. Um, so there's like five or six like children to the uh, the Lord and Lady of that family. So uh, let's get this underway. But it should take place roughly between season three and season four uh, in the storyline. And we are going to meet some of the characters from the TV show. Uh, who are going to be voiced by their respective actors, so Tyrion's going to be one of those, Cersei, Marjorie, uh, Ramsay Bolton, who's now Ramsay, uh, well, who was Ramsay Snow back then, he's now Ramsay Bolton. So uh, let's get the show on the road. So is this the Red Wedding? So this is going to be a record time for somebody dying in a Telltale Games game. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. <laughs> Does need a clean, doesn't it? Right, pick it up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. We're literally just going to up and down. Get all the nasty blood off. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. And I say that as a friend. I mean, if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. So what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. And not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. 
You've never seen a field ploughed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> the Rob Stark! The King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor. To House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine, but you owe me. Owe oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. You are so. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> Shut him up. All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, <clears throat> which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. So we're walking up to the castle gates. That's probably not going to do us any favours for survival. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walder's in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. They've all got their weapons. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Run, boy! 
Run! Ain't gonna end well. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. Come on, the reins of Casimir is playing in the background. I ain't going well. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Well, fuck this. We have to warn the others. Fuck you. Good luck. <laughs> Lol. Oh, here's a knob. Go save your lord. <gasps> Shit, am I gonna have to run and do like a quick time event now? Oh shit. Ah! Whoa, there we go. Keep running. Well. As long as the quick time events aren't particularly obvious. Don't shout at him, you're distracting. Oh shit, no. Oh. Do something, come on. They can hold and drag. Oh, fair off. Right. Oh, who's that? Get a sword. Block him. He's coming behind you with a spear. Ready, boys. Oh. Whoa. Smack him in the head with the shield. Come on. Shoot that one. Oh fuck. What? Now what we're doing. Oh, fuck, fuck, no. Nope. Look out! Where are we dodging? Down. I think sitting underneath a flaming car is the wisest decision. Uh, out on that, that's ended bad. Surprise, surprise. Down. You've lost your shield. Get a sword man, come on. Oh, oh you fucking joking. I'm not gonna die already, am I? Oh. Oh, oh. left. Right. Left. Bang! There you are. Stamp his head. Ooh, nice. Come on, get something you can use as a weapon, you moron. Oh fuck! Oh. That's the Lord's firstborn son. Oh shit! Oh. That's standing well. Garrett, did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The phrase. They. they slaughtered him, my lord. Is he actually dead, though? He only got like, stabbed Where's in the leg squire? and the horse fell on him. You didn't leave him, did you? The squire's dead, he's in the him. Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon, quickly! Pick the sword up, you know. Oh dear. What a free, you fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time! Keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to run. <gasps> Go. 
guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. What the free say you have to go. You're welcome. To the fucking torch. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. He will remember that, but he's going to be dead in about five seconds. Right Tell now. your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> We are manly man. Don't stand there and watch. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> 